Hey, good morning, everybody. Big Mike here. Last night, last night was insane. We had tornadic activity. We had hail. We had high winds. And we had a lot of rain. And I'm going to tell you something. We had branches come down. Um, it's crazy. I mean, it hit... It hit us about uh, 11.30 last night, and we had a supercell. Now, if you don't know what a supercell is, that is uh, a rain cloud that has tornadic possibilities within it. It came up from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Then we had another supercell come down out of Colorado and... Kansas and converged down by OKC and then the one that hit us coming up they met up by Tulsa guys it was crazy um, we were we looked outside and we didn't know I mean the winds were so strong um, it broke branches um, and it was like the thunder was just shaking our house it was insanely Terry, I go, where'd Terry go? And she's sitting inside the safe room uh, that we have built inside of our house. And I said, what are you doing? She goes, man, I ain't staying out there. The house was rocking. I mean, the thunder was and the lightning was just all around us. And it didn't stop for over two hours before that supercell passed by us. And I'm telling you something. I don't know why these turkeys and chickens ain't lost their minds because Oklahoma, you know it's a hotbed, guys. It is a hotbed for tornadoes. And uh, we survived another one. The chicken house is good. Um, it's just, it's crazy. The chickens are following me. They think they're gonna get some food. It's like a, a trail of them. They're everywhere. So anyway, there's another thing that happened yesterday that, uh, uh oh, that looks like something came through the yard, like a cow or something. But the, the ground is just soaking wet. Yeah. There's a branch down on the ground right there that uh, broke off of the pecan tree. Um, anyway, yesterday Terry came out here and was getting chicken eggs. I don't even know where to walk, it's so muddy. Uh, so she came out here and uh, I looked out the window and I said, what is she doing with this shovel? She's like stabbing the ground and stuff like that. I'm going, what the heck? And so she came in, she goes, hey, you need to get rid of this snake. And I said, uh, whoa, 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 snake, you know me. I, I don't mess with snakes, right? I called Terry. I called Terry, she comes as, she's a snake slayer. So she goes, no. I said, is it a big one? She goes, no, it ain't big. And I go, okay, was it the one like you filmed the other day? She goes, no, it's a little bit bigger than that. I said, well, crap. So, I, you know, I hate them. I hate them with a passion. So, Guys, she killed a big old bull snake. She got it out of the coop uh, with the shovel, threw it on the ground, got out of there like Superwoman, and took care of business. So let me turn you around. Okay, look at my hay field. Dude, this is, I can't wait for him to come cut this hay. It's getting tall. First cutting is always the best. So anyway, uh, yeah, if you're squeamish, I really ain't gonna show you much. There ain't no blood or nothing like that, but. This is the snake Terry killed. And it goes from up there, whips around here, 
goes around there, comes back over. Guys, that is a monster snake. It was like five and a half foot long. I don't know if you can actually see it. I don't want to touch it because I know it's dead, but that don't do no good for me because it, it makes me want to throw up. Oh, I did I say it? It makes me want to throw up. Terry's going to have to edit that out. So anyway, guys, look at them. They're just following me. They want food. If anybody needs roosters, I got more roosters than I can deal with. Where's he at? That's Red right there. He's got to go. That's Bubba right there. He's a Brahma. He's got to go because we got two of them. There's the other one over there. They're fighting. Turkeys are looking good. Man, if you have if you have poultry and after a good rain, man, the stink is horrible. Hey, look at that. Light's working. Still working up there on the security light. There's Sparky. Sparky's got to go. These three right here's got to go. Those three right there's got to go. So, anybody needs a rooster? I got roosters. They're just, all they do is fight, and there's too many roosters. Uh, we can't use them. See, there's my two Brahmas over there. They're identical, they're, they're the Bash brothers. One has two toes too, too few, and the other one's perfectly fine, but. We got them because of these girls right here, these Brahma females. That's why we got them, but we got too many males. We got two males, and then we got them. And check this out. It, it, the wind was so, this tall grass over here. Look at that. You would think that deer came in here and laid down, but they didn't. That stuff was so high, that Johnson grass right there, it just laid down. The rain came in so, so freaking hard. I got to change my, my tone because, hey guys, we were, I mean, that was like nightmare on, on Elm Street last night. That stuff was insane. So we're going to, hey, you keep following me. That's Ladybug. Ladybug. I'm going to get you some food, girl. Don't get mad at me. She's the only chicken that fights the roosters. Because she, she only likes one rooster that breeds her. And she attacks the other ones and fights them. She's a good girl. But, hey, guys. I just wanted to uh, do a short video. I didn't know if anybody was following the super cells that were coming across. Uh, Oklahoma. We're fine a little bit of tree damage and stuff like that other than that it was just a scary night i mean 11 about 11 o'clock to 11 30 all the way it finally passed us this is how big it was because it, it was up by us and stretched all the way down to dallas which is two and a half hours away driving but uh we're fine uh people called us and texted us and thank you for that and uh we just want to wish everybody look at this every time we have one of those big old storms it just turns into a great beautiful day it's going to get in the mid 80s the humidity is going to rise and it's going to be it's going to be like it's raining inside your clothes it always happens that way but hey guys thanks for coming along uh, thanks you for everybody's wishes and stuff like that as we went through that. Ladybug, I'm going to get you some food, young lady. And uh, we love you guys. Be kind to one another. Help somebody in need. And always, always, thank a vet. Love you guys. Until our next video, we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Okay, hey, listen. You're, you're being too bossy. Hey, Ladybug, you're being way too bossy. Why are you being bossy? Okay. Look at them. Look at them. I'm going towards the door. They know it's food. 
something about that door behind door number one there's food i'm getting it guys i'm getting it